Happy Friday, YouTubers. Big Philly with Poor Boys RC. Thanks again for watching my show, where today I have got a super duper radical upgrade from my favorite RC car and my first hobby raid RC car. Favorite of all time, the Tamiya Pumpkin, aka the CW01 chassis, aka the Lunchbox, aka Mitsubishi Montero Wheelie, aka Unimog Wheelie, aka so many other wheelie variations. <laughs> But this has been my favorite RC since I was just a wee little filly and first hobby grade I ever got. And it's really interesting in today's world um, to see some of the hop ups that are starting to come out for this thing. And that's what we want to talk about here today. I have picked this up off of eBay and you might be wondering what is inside this wonderful little box. Well, let's take a closer look inside this wonderful little box. Let's see what's really going on. Let's do a, a little unboxage here for you guys. Da -da -da -da. Yes, that's right. That's a chassis. That's an all aluminum ladder frame-ish chassis for the CW01. I'll get the rest of the stuff out of here. We got some hardware. We're gonna dig into this stuff in a little bit and some instructions here and a lot of little packing snowballs. So, small box. Came super quick right from China. Very quick, I was surprised. I'm gonna say about two weeks from China to Canada. And here's the contents of the box. We have got our chassis looking slick. We have got some hardware also quite slick. And we've got some instructions on how to put this all together. Now you may be asking yourself, why the heck would you wanna put an aluminum chassis on an antiquated design because why not it's 2022 we're on the tail end of covid let's have a little bit of fun in life again hey guys so this chassis let's just take a close look at it and appreciate it for what it is it looks awesome uh and so i say twin vertical plate because it looks almost like a twin vertical plate and it's got the center um supports but it's not actually it's like stamped you can see the uh the fact that it's all one piece here and at, this is just one big stamp piece of aluminum um, that appears to be uh, powder coated in a like a satin or a flat black. Many of the threads here are tapped for uh, M3 hardware. They came with these stainless screws. These came in just like this, just as you guys saw. You saw me pull out of the box real time, although I did take a little peek at it a bit sooner. So it comes with a bunch of hardware. It comes pre-powder coated in this black color. And this thing looks super duper cool. Check out that mount there for the steering servo. That's pretty cool. Nice beefy front supports. We've got front mounting positions for our front shocks. Mounting position in the rear for the rear shock right here. And some really nice weight saving design elements where they sort of cut out the sides here, cut some slots out of the bottom to help reduce weight. I mean, this thing is extremely rigid, so to have a bit of weight savings was a good idea uh, by the designers on this particular unit. So you may be asking yourself, why the heck would you bother investing in an aluminum chassis for a truck like this? It, is it really gonna benefit from it? I, I don't know, guys, I don't race this thing. It's really just a basher or something I just have fun with. I don't know if this is going to improve performance in any way. I doubt it's lighter than the plastic bathtub chassis, maybe. Um, but I doubt it. Is it going to be more rigid than the plastic bathtub chassis? Heck, heck yeah. Overall, the build quality looks awesome. And you know what? I've had this pumpkin forever since they first started re-releasing these things. This is a re-release, not my original. And I love the Midnight Pumpkin and I want to soup it up because it's a super fun rig. Why wouldn't we just have some fun with it? It's RC. Let's have some fun with RC. It's what it's all about, isn't it? So the kit also comes with some nice hardware. We've got some spacers for the front shocks. We've got nice metric, looks like M3 machine screws. These are made out of stainless steel, which is nice. Stainless is a little on the softer side, guys, a little softer than regular steel. So be aware of that. And where your normal Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin hardware would be um, what looks to be like a Phillips head, but it's not. It's actually JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard. This looks to be like a two mil hex. So a uh, so little upgrade in the hardware here as well. What does this instruction manual have to say for itself? Let's see. This guy cracked open. 
CW01 chassis. Looks like uh, they assume you're going to be going with a lunchbox, but we're not. We're going with the Midnight Pumpkin. I'm sure the body mounts, will, the body posts will mount up just fine. Not too worried about that. Uh, chassis did come pre-assembled, so that's good. Now you're going to have to take some of the bits and pieces from your existing chassis, i.e. the battery holder, uh, this little doodad here, this little bulkhead doodad there, uh, and bolt the stuff up to this aluminum chassis. So a little bit of work to do. They give you some guidelines on how you're gonna do it, which is pretty cool. They make it pretty easy. If you're not sure what you're doing, just crack open your original uh, build manual. And you can really just follow a lot of these steps through your original build manual. And just instead of bolting to this chassis, bolt to this chassis. It's pretty easy stuff. So with all that being said, let's do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison to see the differences between the eBay aluminium chassis, that's for all my friends in the UK, and the stock uh, ABS bathtub chassis. So first things first, if I compare the width, bang on, length is pretty much bang on, maybe a couple mils shorter. And if you look underneath, looks pretty boss. So what I'm going to have to do guys is take this battery tray right here, take my front suspension, this front bulkhead, and convert that over to the chassis. Um, from here I've got these rear axle holders, and these are actually a 3D printed part. You can see kind of the texture and the grain there. Uh, this is a, a wheelbase extension kit. Um, so I'm really hoping that that's going to work okay uh, with this aluminum chassis because this uh, this wheelbase is extended a little bit. But when looking at this and thinking, how is there going to be any improvement? One thing that I do notice right away is that the, if you notice the positioning of my ESC, it's sitting pretty high. And this chassis was originally designed to hold a manual speed controller along with another steering, or um, sorry, a throttle servo in here. So there's, there's kind of, there's stuff inside there. There's part of the mold was designed to hold all that. This foregoes all of that and you can see how nice and low slung this chassis is. So not that this Speedo has a ton of weight to it, not that my receiver has a ton of weight to it, but that's gonna take that weight and drop it down a little bit more, which is gonna be a good thing for me because the lower the center of gravity, the better, especially when trying to do some speed runs in this bad boy. One, I wanna tucker down a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna go from, from monster truck style to let's see how fast we can get this little baby going style. <laughs> so. So thanks again for tuning in everyone. I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me if you did. Helps us YouTube content creators grow our channels, which is really what it's all about. So thanks for all the love and support guys. Appreciate it as always. Be excellent to each other.